Action against the JB Marx municipality, speaking at an oversight inspection in Ikaheng outside Potchefstroom in the northwest. DA Shadow Minister for Water and Sanitation, Leon Basson, said it was unacceptable that residents continue to live on the banks of lakes of sewage. This is even after the municipality approved a 12 million rand budget to upgrade the sewage system. A 12 million rand sanitation upgrade that has done little to end sewage leaks in the area. Many in this community are forced to live with this disgusting stench. Gebalipile says she arrived here in 2009. The sewage here has always been like this. She had tried to call the municipality, but nothing changed. With no end in sight for this growing reservoir of sewage, the DA says legal action must be taken against those responsible. We will like criminal charges against the municipal manager of uh, JB Marx. And secondly, uh, we will take this to Parliament and make sure that the Department of Water and Sanitation and COCTA intervene in this matter. The JB Marx municipality says it has committed to address the growing concern. The executive mayor is leading a, a, a delegation of officials uh, to to go and, and talk to investors. Uh, they are at the advanced stage that uh, we will get uh, funding uh, so that we can upgrade our sewer system. Our sewer system, we have inherited it from the apartheid system. An expert on local government says he is not surprised to see such service delivery challenges. It's no surprise that JB Marx falls into that basket of municipalities that have performed poorly. And, and what worries me the most is the kind of fiscal pressure that uh, the municipality has experienced come to issues of amalgamation, come to issues of taking care of its employees. But at the core of this is ensuring that sustainable public service service delivery and goods are, are, are given to the beneficiaries. As the DA also recently opened criminal charges against the Tsuaying local municipality where severe sewage problems have also been reported. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Ikaheng in Pochefstrum. Well, the EFF has accused the SABC of bias.